So now you can see here nine clubs are licensed that is FC Barcelona, Bayern Munchen, Juventus, Manchester United, Arsenal, Corinthians, Flamengo, Sao Paulo and River Plate. Well, let's move on to the next thing that is the system requirement. Whether it will be working in the phone that you're currently running or all the devices. So they have currently here said that due to the update the minimum and recommend system requirements will change. That means it will upgrade. So the phones that used to run PES 21 now it will not run. So in order to play this game you have to upgrade your device so they have clearly said that and if you are upgrading your device make sure to link your konami id with the game so that whenever you log into the new device it gets logged in otherwise if you don't you lose it so they have given us that console and mobile cross platform so that is available but that function won't be available in all devices so all devices it might won't work they have clearly said it they have said it all all devices the cross platform won't work depending upon your device the cross platform will be there and you can't carry over your mobile account to your console account okay you can't carry over your mobile account and play it in console you can carry over your mobile to ios like your android to ios it's a good news for the pack opening and everything but not in cross platform like ps4 you can't use so now you have here you can be using you can use some joystick and all and connect it to the mobile we'll be telling you later on like which all joysticks are good so now this is the very very important thing man. very important and new thing for us okay so now the players in eFootball 22 will have a set of contracts everyone will have a set of their contracts the set of the contracts would be after you purchase them 365 days would be the duration of contract if you purchased after one week so after one week to 365 days so the player's contract would be there so you you would be thinking what would be there in that contract now after 365 imagine the 365 days has expired so that doesn't mean the player will be removed after 365 you will not be able to develop them any further and will not be able to participate in certain type of matches like some certain type of events you will not be able to participate and you will not be able to to develop so i feel that max rating or something like we had level 30 level 31 i guess that is paved off due to this but there is a possibility that if you have if the players contract 365 days are over you can renew their contract by 60 days 60 days item will be received and you can renew them by 60 days so this will again uh, renew the contract for them and after 60 days again their contract will be moved so again development will stop after then again you give them the contract renewal of 60 today again they will developing so that's the thing now the final and the most important thing is the player development we heard that 365 days the player will be developed after that you can't develop a player now what is that player development exactly so uh, there are four types of player you know so one category that is trending players they have their stats based on high level performance so trending players will get a stats based on their high level performance uh, so they'll be performing at the peak level the moment you sign them so no need to upgrade them no need to do nothing whatever rating would be there it's fixed you won't be able to develop them but the increase their rating you'll not be able to uh, customize them add their skills or do whatever things now next is standard featured and legendary the remaining three categories you'll be able to customize them according to your personal taste and needs whatever you need you want your player like if you have you have holland you want him to have a good something shooting or good skill a skill of sombrero one touch pass so you can just give them but remember one thing their stats and rating starts with a very modest medium medium level than the trending players trending players will be at the best rating and the max rating and you can't like do anything with them and there's something known as stat boost and added skill that stat boost whatever stat you want you want holland to have a holland doesn't have a balance so you want him to have a good balance you can give them stat boost balance stat boost like holland doesn't has one touch pass you can give him one touch pass so that type of skills you can customize it as per your need whatever you need you can do it so via stat boost so this can't be applicable in the trending players you can customize it and it can be more deadlier than your trending players as well so this is a very interesting thing to be noticed in PES there will be uh, cross-gen matches as well like PS5 can play with mobile PS4 and all those can be played but in the later on update it will be added initially in the 30th September release that PS5 console will be can play with PS4 and Xbox can play with Xbox One like that that's that's bad kabad we don't have anything for the mobile users uh, a late update that can come is match 
pass so in this match pass you have certain rewards like nominating contract and advantage match pass so by nominating contract you'll be able to sign players of your choosing among other items so you're getting like five six things you can you have to pick one so you just you can choose any player or any item or whatever you want via this nominating contract then you can purchase one more thing that is advanced match pass by your eFootball coins that is a my club coins uh, formerly known as the my club coins to get even more items like pesa peko you'll get more items if you don't throw money you'll get items but it will be less so this is how the match pass will look so there is another uh, feature that is gonna be update uh, like added in the game which will be in the later future updates similar to the uh, match pass so that is objective so you'll be receiving uh, like uh, rewards on completion of the objectives so every objective has different rewards and if you complete it you'll be getting some uh, rewards and if you want even more better rewards like you'll be getting rewards by completing objectives but still if you want to earn more better rewards you have to complete premium objectives which can be unlocked via your eFootball coins formerly known as my club coins so now here we talked about the contract in the mobile thing so now here also we have contracts so contracts are of two types now one is chance deal and one is nominating contract so chance deal is what it's same like the pack opening that we used to do like iconic moment pack opening whatever featured pack opening like any random player can come in whenever we open this contract open that pack so here it's known as contract and you have nominating contract so now you have a nominating contract where you choose a particular player like there's a certain list you choose I'll, I'll go for him so for that you need to unlock this nominating contract so now again the player types you can see how the card will look they have just given the definition of them so players are based on their performance during the current season so this all are the base card that we have then you have the trending card which is match or week in which they put an impress so it's like featured card featured card like featured player patau patau date date wise the patau or the club selection that you get the featured card would be handpicked players that are depicted based on their performance during the current Current season. So current season would be like pots player of the season. You get player of the season. Uh, yeah, Syria players of the season. This player of the season. That uh, club selection and all. So uh, those would be this thing named as featured. So you have trending as well as featured. Now the next thing is legendary. So players are based on a specific season when they had a stellar performance. So this is a definition of an iconic moment. This also includes retired players who had a brilliant career. So this is a combination of legend as well as an iconic moment. As we learned early so how what would be there so you can uh, you cannot develop trending because they will be at their prime featured standard and legendary can be developed and how can you sign them standard players can be signed via my club coins and gp that is nominated one and chance deal that we said and anyone you can choose trending can be signed via nominating contract like whatever you want to choose you can just pick and uh, e-football like here also you can see like the way that you can sign them you can just go through this so type of matches uh, let's discuss about it the so tour event challenge event online quick match online match lobby so these four are the main that would be there so tour event you'll be playing against ai opponents in a tour so that's you are playing against the computer a challenge event is like you're playing online matches stand, standard matches or uh, the events that comes in like uh, weekly events where you complete the matches and you get my club points so that all where you have to complete missions objectives to earn rewards an online quick match you have so that is like a standard match match uh, like online you will play for the rating and all an online match lobby where it is like friend match where we play subscriber friendly or member friendly and then you have something named as eFootball Creative League. So this is, I guess, the eSports League, majority the eSports League, and where you play player versus player, and you'll be getting evenly matched up, evenly matched opponents, evenly matched opponents, and gather points, and you need to ri rise to the division. This was available in the console. I guess the same would be available in mobile as well. I don't know, but it wasn't mentioned. Let's see what happens. Uh, there would be division, division one, division two, division three, and you have to keep on rising it uh, like every division is there and after 10 matches your like performance will be judged and all all these things are completely referred to the esports and whatever will be your fan final standing will be based on like your ranking and all will be based on that and yeah for a console also there would be some veteran bonus like we had like we are given <laughs> we don't have any veteran bonus so they'll also be getting some veteran bonus Arthur, it's getting exchanged in mobile like we're getting gps for some so now after this still you have any doubts and queries you can feel free to get in touch with us channel instagram is there so that's it guys from our side like share and subscribe till then bye bye good night take care Ajay, take care. see you